What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I know the Seaworthy update has been out. It has been out, and it is the final update until the game is actually released. And guess what? We're going to play through it. We're going to do it one last time before the game is finally released. So we have about a month, a little over a month. And uh, I'm excited. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what's new. We're going to do the things. We're going to do the stuff. It's a series. Make sure you like, subscribe, all the fun things. Now, a note about this Subnautica modded series, because I'm getting a lot of questions about it. I am actually holding off on that until the mods are released publicly so that everyone can play. Um, so that's where that's at. We're just kind of on pause. So, uh, yeah, we're hopping into below zero. We're going to do a below zero playthrough all the way up to the point where we can't play anymore. The update comes out. Hopefully we could play, get to the ending, check it out, and then maybe do another playthrough of the 1.0. See if you think it's even things different, but anyways, let's hop on into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Like subscribe, all the fun things play, start a new game survival. Let's do it. I'm excited. I am excited. Press any button to continue. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space box, Robin. Okay. Are you, sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh that's cool okay so it's like she came over on her own liner 46 feet surface temperatures surface temperatures it's cold <gasps> oh hopefully that thing's got air ride on it oh that would be a being a real backbreaker there. Oh, hit it. Harder. Hit it harder. <laughs> uh Oh my gosh. Welcome to 4546B. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Okay, um, I'm going to try to turn up the voices a little bit so that way you can actually hear the voices a little bit better. Because things are a little... Oh, this is crazy cool. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh, the meteor storm. Oh my gosh. So epic. So polished. So much polished. Much wow. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Let's see. We got we got the wonderful. Smokes. That did not go as planned. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Yes. That would be ideal. Hello, warm plant. I missed you so. Oh my gosh, it's like we're playing a game that we haven't played for so long, but it's like so much newer and better. Oh, this is what I love about games that are in development. Is that you get to play the game again and just gets better with time for the most part. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what? Did did I lose? Did I not grab anything? Was there stuff to grab? I don't even know. I don't even know. I just want to go. I just want to get in and I want to do the things. <gasps> Are we ready for it? Okay, let's dive on into Subnautica Below Zero, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I forget how good... I forget how good this game looks compared to Subnautica. Like, things just look so much more vibrant and... Oh, so good so good okay uh bladder fish eh, i got new you creature discovered yes new creature discovered okay looking good looking good blueprint synthesized <gasps> hey it's a sea glide fragment i don't have a scanner though i know i'm not supposed to probably be doing this right now but like <laughs> we're on the way here anyway oh i forgot about that pesky oxygen deal <gasps> oh it feels good to be back all right, so uh, super curious to see what's new, what's changed, if anything, because we did just play through the story not super long ago, but I can't imagine they changed too much. Uh, unlike how they changed pretty much the entire game uh, earlier in development. Okay, hold on. PDA, survival, uh, Arctic survival, almanac on arrival. 
Arctic Survival Almanac. The surface. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, well, we'll seek shelter. Don't worry. All right. So, I'm going to try... I say this every single time. I'm going to tell you this right now. I say this every single time, and I'm going to try. I'm going to do my absolute best. I will try to read all the PDAs and logs and stuff like that. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of miss the old PDA. I'm not going to lie. I bet you there'll be a mod for that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to do what I can to read the PDA so we can fully understand the story here. However, at some point I might fall off the bandwagon and just forget about it because like I'm not oxygen. I'm not super into like the in-depth lore of absolutely everything, but I do like to know, I like to know the story, you know? So uh, I will try to read and do the things. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got our, oh my gosh, everything just looks so good. Gosh, this game just looks so good. It's crazy. Found the drop pod. Yes, we did. Now what? Did we touch the buttons? Logs, I'm sorry about your sister. Okay, well, let's do it. Sam, oh gosh. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Ooh, okay. Uh, now, if all of these have notice of death. Okay, hold on. Dear Miss Ayu, I'm going to destroy that. On behalf of Zeta Landon, 4546B Robotics Section Leader and Indra Cormac president of Altera Transgov. I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet 4546B, regrettably as the result of energies sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Who writes a notice of death to somebody that says in an accident arising from her own negligence? How dare you, you evil Altera Corporation? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to play the first Samantha account. I'm just gonna kill the character over and over because he was part of Altera. He's terrible. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. You can go take a hike. Whoever you are, dear, on behalf of... Who is this? Since Emmanuel? Yeah, just, just Jardins? You can go just Jardins. Stuff it. I don't like you. You're a jerk. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and uh, Recuperation concerning the responsibilities and next of kin. With regards to payments, damages, legal fees, if you have any questions, feel free. You may file a form. Uh, Y7YSS. Wait, hold on a second. This sounds... This looks familiar. Why does that look familiar? Uh, your query will be addressed in sequential order. Of course. Okay. So, I'm going to go through. I'm going to play all these. Now, uh, if... Comment down below. Comment down below. Do you prefer going through all of these messages? Or do you want me to skip going through these messages and just continuing with the game? Because some people I can see liking it. Some people I can't. Now, if you like it, make sure you comment. If you don't like it, please let me know. And we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Mmm. Um. 
What is an Augie? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what an Augie is. Okay, what do we got here? Four five four six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian and hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um, I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Okay, so it sounds like they still have Xeno working though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed. So is Robin trying to do a startup for alien intelligence? But you put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep it going. So, okay, these, okay, things are making sense. You know, it's amazing. When you get into the story, it's amazing what things can make sense. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and play this one. Hey, Robin, I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky potato. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way, a cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my panglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. I guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. All right, so now it's getting into where she found something and Altera is being the shady corporation that they are, saying, no, 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 nothing to see here, go away. Just, just pretend you never saw this. We're gonna check this out in, uh, on our own. And then I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. So you're pro welcome to the Altera family. Okay, large corporation buying up all the other small corporations. Monopoly, monopolistic much? Hmm, evil corporation of the future. That's what it sounds like. All right, what we got here? Hey, Robin. I'm sorry, my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this, I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Okay, things getting a little bit more shady. They're probably controlling what she can actually say. It's like, hey, you know, you can't say this. You can't say this. She's having to go back and fix things about what she said before. Sounds like a company that wants to control everything that anybody says. Okay, what do we got? Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. 
Mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is... ugly. Dangerous. But, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but... I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Mm-hmm. Altera trying to weaponize the Ka Kara? Is that what she called it? The Kara virus? Um, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, all right. We're good. We can move on now. Well, Sam, I oh. guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Probably is. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get some things going. I'm sorry. It's been, I know, that took a while. We had a lot to catch up on. But we're good. We're good now. We understand kind of like what the heck's going on. Okay, so we got a couple platter fish. That's fantastic. We need to get some food. Oh my gosh, this game just looks so good. Eat something. I don't have anything to eat. Oh, actually, I bet you there's something. Wait, do I have my... Where's my inventory? Mm, no. Mm, no. Uh, let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Okay, let's see if we can find something to eat here. Hey, look, it's an Arctic Peeper. <laughs> you see that? I juked him. I juked him. He didn't think I was going for it, and then I did. It's like this, and then I, I look away, and then... Hi -ya! Gotcha! <laughs> you swim way too fast for me to catch, yet I managed to catch you. Who failed at their survival lessons? Not me. Cooked Arctic Peeper. I will indulge myself. All right, so let's eat these. Vital oh, delicious. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. All right. So we need to craft a few things. Let's go ahead and let's grab some. I need you. I'm sorry. I needed you for water. Should so, be able to use this. Should be. <laughs> Obviously, it's a survival game. You could probably use any resource that you can pick up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, hmm, should be able to use this. I like that. I want that on a shirt. <laughs> New merch coming soon. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Are these mushrooms we can pick up? These are bullseye shrooms. Oxygen. And I need oxygen. You know, this whole oxygen thing is for the birds. I, can I just acquire some gills, please? That would be ideal. All right, let's see what we can make in here. So let's go ahead. Oh, nervous about dropping into an unknown area. Okay. But luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I could yes. use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos Five. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Oh, Byzantos Five, huh? You uh. You, you some you some nautica devs uh trying to trying to get a new planet in the works huh maybe maybe cooked bladder fish okay uh why did i cook that i don't even know all right let's grab some resources here let's see if we can get a scanner going uh let's grab this stuff i need oh personal equipment okay so what do i need i need an oxygen tank we need some fiber mesh tools a scanner i need a battery Battery, there's that. Oh, we don't have easy craft. <laughs> I miss easy craft. Let's get the scanner going. And then what do we All need right. for this? Fiber mesh. Oh, you know what? In order to get fiber mesh, we're gonna need creep vine. In order to get creep vine, we are going to need silken rubber. For silken rubber, we're going to need creep vine seed clusters, which are over here, maybe. Hopefully. God, this game looks good. Oh man, like all Terra supply cache nearby. Oh, okay. All righty then. Oh, we can have a scanner now. That's right. I don't know what it is, but like things just look crystal clear in this game. Whereas like the first of Naka things looked like a little blurry, you know. But like things look 
crystal clear. Oh, I will I will absolutely grab any fish that accidentally swims in front of me. <laughs> oxygen. Um, okay, we probably should grab oxygen. Where are the seeds? There's some seeds. All right, now we gotta be careful because the sea monkeys, spoiler warning, the sea monkeys will steal stuff from you until you're, until you have Alan. Once you have Alan, they will help you. Just so you know. So I always try to not have them steal stuff from me. No, 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 bad. No, go away. <laughs> I don't want to be robbed by a sea monkey. <laughs> All right, so I should have the stuff that we need for the Kniffe. And one survival Kniffe. We got it. We got the survival Kniffe. I know, it's amazing. It's a good feeling. That's actually a really, really cool looking knife. If they would make that in real life, that would be sick. I would I would totally buy that. <laughs> like an actual knife. That's actually like good quality, not like a cheap replica kind of thing. Like an actual decent knife. <gasps> it looks nice. I wonder if there's a knife modeled like that that you could like paint. Hmm. I don't know. Sorry. Anyways, enough about the <laughs> about the knife. Let's go get some creep vine and then make some fibers. And is that a sea glide? Oh yes, it is. Let us scan you a sea glide. Uh, one of three. Okay, well, let's grab some air first. Oxygen. So I'm going to do what I can just to basically scan everything we come across. Uh, because, you know, why not? Might as well, right? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Scan all of the things. New blueprint synthesized. Oh, inventory's Oxygen. full. Shoot. I realized my inventory was full. How many did I get? I got two? Ugh. Okay, well, that's enough to get the, uh... I guess that's just enough to get the, uh... The oxygen tank, but still... Bummer. And I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Yeah, I almost had you! Oh, I got you! Ha 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 ha! Dinner. Oh, emergency supply cache. We need to go over there. All right, so in here, in here, fiber mesh. Thank you so much. Do appreciate it. In here, tools, uh, no, equipment, standard O2 tank. Thank you. I will take that. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Thank you. You know, if I was stranded standard on an island. tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Thank you. But I'm still stranded on an island. Maybe you think you could give me all of the blueprints instead of just the ones that I need at the time. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> repair tool. So, silicon rubber, crystalline sulfur, and titanium air bladder. Ooh, the air bladder's super handy. Um, do we cook fish now? Let's leave them in our inventory for now. Let's grab a uh, let's grab a bladder fish and make an air bladder. Those things are actually pretty darn handy. Uh, swim, 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 air bladder. You can't escape me. I got you. You are mine. All right, air bladder. Uh, let's see. Yes, handy tool. Always recommended, especially in the beginning. Tired of hearing the word oxygen. The air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. <laughs> if you're tired of hearing the word oxygen, <laughs> it's like they've heard us say, "Oh my gosh, I've heard you a thousand times. Please stop." <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, um, survival knife. Oh, survival knife. Let's get that in here. Let's get that in there. Okay. I like how, uh, I like how these, like, click into place now. Much better than the first one. You know, I would love to see, this is what I would love to see, honestly, and I don't, I don't even know if it's, like, worth their effort, but I would love to see the quality of life and control scheme changes that they have with, like, you know, these things clicking in this place, like, that. you know, how all this stuff works. If they would do an update to the first Subnautica, that would make it function the same as this. Like, where all this stuff, like, works and clicks in and, like, oh, oh, that'd be so nice. I just don't know if it's worth their effort, you know? Um, okay. So, what else can we get? Uh, floating air pump. Literally, I don't think I've ever used that in my entire life. And the pipe. I don't think I've ever used that in my entire life either. I don't plan on starting today. So... 
it's time to scan. We need to go get a sea glide. That is what we need to do. Let's see if we can find ourselves a sea glide. And we have to scan absolutely every single piece of everything. Because, yes. Because when I come across something and if it's scannable, I want it to be new. I want it to be something I've not scanned before. No, nope. hey, how have I not got the... Uh, how have I not got the, the... I guess maybe when you pick up the 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 bladder fish it doesn't scan it for you it just like says like add an item to your inventory interesting i don't know uh, what do we have here are you kidding me oh my god there's so many things to scan okay let's see where are you uh bladder fish Get over here okay so we got the bladder fish that's good where is the Sea glide. Oh, sea glide. Oh, I think that was that. It, was that it right there? Yeah. I was like, I know what passed one on the way in. All right, two of three, looking solid. Let's see, there's got to be more. More sea glide for it. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, that's a mushroom. Okay, false alarm. Hey, you know what? Anybody could be confused by a mushroom, okay? It looks like it might be a part of a mechanical thrusting device. It's not. It's just a mushroom. Eh, oh, nope, that's just crystalline sulfur. Or, that's quartz. Hmm. Where is our last fragment? What's that? What's that right there? Is that an elongated rock? It looks to be a rock. My god, it's a rock. Where, where's this last fragment at? There's got to be one around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's, there's some graph traps in this area. Uh, sea glide. Where art thou, sea glide? <gasps> Ooh, hold on. Hold on. A Galena outcrop? Possibility of silver? Possibly. Chance of lead? Oh, okay. Darn, I'll have no silver. <gasps> sea glide fragment right there. I see you. Oh my gosh. That is a long. Is that a sea glide fragment or is that a beacon? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Gosh, I love how this game looks. Have I said that yet? Have I said how much I love how this game looks? Uh, is that a sea glide or a beacon? Looks like it might be a sea glide. Could also be a beacon, though. Let's scan this oxygen plant. You never know when we might need to need that. It is a sea glide. Okay. Yeah, the sea glides and the beacons almost look like they they look pretty similar. New blueprints in maybe uh maybe there's a, a beacon upgrade where you can catch a ride on a beacon. <laughs> I know that's silly. Alright, let's see if we can make this sea glide. I really need it. Gosh, you know, I gotta say, these subnautica subnautica games are so good. They are they're so good. They have like the, the market cornered on the type of game that it is. Uh, but, I, you know, I just got to say, I have to give a shout out where shout outs do. Breath Edge is also a great game, and they took a lot of cues from Subnautica, and it's a fantastic time. I recommend checking it out as well if you haven't already. I know you probably checked out Subnautica already and Subnautica Below Zero, but Breath Edge, I'd recommend it. I have videos on my channel. Fantastic time. Uh, okay. So, I want a deployable, of course, a copper wire lubricant and a battery. So, battery. Copper wire. Ooh, lubricant. Oh, ho, ho. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh my gosh, we've got it. Oh. The sea glide is a personal wonderful device for high speed. for high speed free diving. Free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Oh, that's so nice. <gasps> that's so nice. All right, let's switch containers on all these because I just don't need them right now. Mm mm mm. That is some good stuff right there. Decomposing cooked bladderfish. Ugh. Did I cook that? Darn it. That's right. That's the batter bladderfish I cooked. Oh, sorry, but I'm not eating you. Call me a poacher. Call me names. I'm not eating it, though. Okay, so from here, uh, we have a beacon to go check out the supply cache right now, which is awesome. And this is another thing I want to say about Subnautica Below Zero. In the first Subnautica, there was almost... Almost no direction given whatsoever to what you were doing. 
and a lot of like casual players a lot of a lot of players including myself just didn't know what to do um and in this game thank goodness they have uh, it was the stranger pings update where it pings you it, like you get close to an area it'll it'll give it'll give you a ping like hey maybe you should check out this you know so that way like say okay this is the problem with like you know the first game say there was a thing right here right big huge thing that you needed to find and you were swimming around it's like oh it's in this area somewhere you're like where is this thing at it said it was right over here somewhere i don't know where it's at but you never saw it because it's right behind this little stupid hill and you never saw the thing well now you get the pings i love it i love it it doesn't it's not holding your hand too much but it's saying like, hey come check out over here you know what i mean i love that i'm super super glad that they did that uh but let's go check out that supply cache i have like nothing in my inventory food and water look solid i want to get some more oxygen before we went and oh <laughs> look at us go uh okay toggle map f this is another thing like how come this this integration should be on the regular subnautica as well by now because this is nice being able to just turn on the uh the light and turning off the map into it like independently of each other very a uh, very handy okay we gotta be quick here hoop fish are cool but the little stupid nasty predatorial things next to them are not also those little penguin things right there also terrible horrible awful disaster waiting to happen okay so we got sea glide we got that what do we have uh we got a pda I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. It probably is. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? <laughs> Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Mm-hmm. The Leviathan has the Kahar and he saw it and he's like, hey, something's wrong with it. Like that skin, the skin on there, those green pestules. He didn't say green pestules, but we all know. We all know. We're experts in uh the the Kahar. Uh yeah, we know what it is. It's terrible. Shouldn't even play with it, but no! Altera wants to weaponize it. You know, shame on them. Shame on them. okay so let's see we got a mineral detector fragment i was hoping oxygen. to get the last one uh oxygen oh shoot three two one blacking out i'm fine everything's fine look at that holy moly the mineral detector is actually quite huge um super super helpful but i think we have to go down to this stupid cave I think we have to go down to that cave right there. Okay, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Because I think the rest of the fragments are in the uh, nests of those sea monkeys. I think that's what they're called. So let's find out, shall we? We gotta be quick though. 66 oxygen right now. Okay, what do we have here? Sea monkey nest. Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Mobile vehicle bay frag fragment. Sea monkey nest. Okay. Uh, oxygen. Okay, let's see what else we got. There's there's another sea monkey nest down here. I know there is. There's multiples. This is a good place to die. Get stuck. You have no idea where you're at. I don't think we can do anything. These are pretty... Oh my god, it is. You can pick that up. We're going to have to see what that's all about. Uh, sea monkey nest anywhere? Oh shoot! We got a buddy. Actually, I need that crystal ice sulfur. Where'd you come from? Right there. Okay. I'll take that. Uh oh, it's an egg. Are you kidding me? Wait, we got an egg of an exploding creature? That's super weird. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Working on it. 
Uh, oh, it looks like we're coming back Seek out. Fluid intake immediately. Oh, jeez. We're dying on all fronts now. Oh, is that a graph trap? Graph trap. Okay. Let's see. Oh, another graph trap. Wait, we came out in a different area, didn't we? Uh. New yes. Seconds of oxygen we definitely training. came out in a different area. Okay. I want that mineral detector. I really want that mineral detector. Uh, but I don't know if they're all there. Okay, so let's head back to uh, let's head back to our, our place and let's grab some uh, let's grab some water fish on the way. <laughs> water fish, water fish. <laughs> we love water fish. Water fish. All right, let's hop in here. Did we unlock anything? Uh, I don't think so, friend. Scanning at last. Oh, whoa, what is this? In goes the battery and titanium. Out comes the scanner. Every is Xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has to. Oh, well, let's just In listen goes to the it. battery and titanium. Out comes the scanner. Every Xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. All right. They're looking good. I'm just trying to go through and make sure I got everything cleared up. So that way, when we get new messages, we can check them out and stick to the story. Light stick. Mineral detector. Okay. I don't think we actually unlocked the mineral detector, did we? Oh, well, son of a gun, we did. Uh, that's actually super handy. This thing was, like, a crucial item. So, battery, titanium, copper, wire, silicon, rubber. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call it that. Um, so, silicon, rubber. Copper. Battery. Titanium. Is that everything? So we need battery, copper wire, silicon rubber. Got it. Ooh, I need two ribbon plants. Well, guess what? I had another one. And one mineral detector. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Seek oh shoot. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Oh, that's so nice. Potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Oh, that is nice. I am very happy that they incorporated that because that... Kind of like, you know, the whole like, oh, I need uh, I need more gold. Then you have to go through like a thousand outcrops just to get the amount of gold or whatever you need. <laughs> oh, that is a super amazing of them. I don't need any of those. Uh, I'm going to leave. Actually, you know what? The bladder fish we can turn into water right away. But the, the fish, we don't want to cook fish for food because they're just going to spoil. But if we leave them in fish form, they'll be fine. Awesome. All right, we are doing things. Emergency supply cache. Oh, I should have grabbed the beacon. Oh, well, darn, that's it. That's fine. Uh, but that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully, you all are having a fantastic time. Leave a comment down below. Let me know about the story stuff. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, about the new series. What do you think? Do you want to see more? Do you not want to see more? Do you want to wait till the game just comes out? What are you excited about? I'm excited about everything. So, uh, yeah, just leave, uh, leave a comment down below. But like, subscribe, all the fun things. And I... We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.